Hello everyone, this is your friend Baromix and I'm really excited because Houdini 18 has been released! Awesome! Yeah man, this is amazing, amazing news. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead to the SideFX website, get a copy for yourself and let's start getting to know a few of, the of his features. So today, we're gonna talk about Karma. I know you guys are excited about using the new renderer and I'm gonna show you where it is and how you use it really basically but uh, at least it will get you started so whenever you start Houdini uh, I have it already here open and I have the kitchen scene from Pixar open as well if you want to get that scene that is on the USD website you can get it from there uh, let's say USD USD Pixar is this one and then you go to downloads and you can see the, the the kitchen scene is here so what I just did is just I just opened Houdini just I just did for fun but I have this stage tab here you can get to the stage um, the new stage tab stage context here so if you go here or I have just a tab for the same thing you can start um, doing this um, lighting context here in Houdini, so lighting and layout basically. So here I just put a file node to load that kitchen set. Uh, the kitchen set it's um, really big and it's not aligned for Houdini by default. I just uh, use the transform for that and scale it down. Just, just make sure to change this uh, primitives option here or your transform is not gonna work, just select this old mesh primitives from here and delete whatever is there. And then I just added a light to uh, light this, just added a near light at the top there, added another light for a dome light here. In this context, you have to have everything plugged in, basically it's like a, like a network of rendering and layout stuff. So you can see we have that. I added this dome light. The dome light I just connected uh, an HDR image to it. And then I put just the camera here just to have a view. And then where is, oh, sorry. So where is, is Karma? And Karma is here actually in this drop down menu where you uh, are used to having uh, your cameras here. You can see Houdini OpenGL is the Houdini OpenGL viewport. And there's Karma there. Karma, there you go. And you can see Karma starts rendering. Pretty cool. And uh, you can see this looks pretty nice. It's Karma starts rendering your scene. Ah, awesome, right? Cool. And there is, so you can have other delegates here. Uh, you can see I have this, the, uh, the AMD uh, Pro Render I installed, but there's uh, there will be one for I think Redshift has uh, one in the works. Uh, Pixar has the Renderman in the works. This Storm 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 is I think the the Hydra uh, delegate, the USD delegate. So. But then, yeah, if you're gonna just use Houdini, OpenGL, or Karma, you can use it here. And then all the settings for Karma here for the viewport are on the viewport. So if you press D, or you press this little icon here with an eye, you can see the 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 settings are here. I just put one sample here to so I can render really quickly here. You can see it's already done. You can enable denoising on the viewport, which is cool. Uh, but for that, you have to go here and download the NVIDIA Open, Open Op Optics Denoiser first to make sure you have that downloaded and uh, now you can see it, it's been denoised. So this is pretty extreme, but it, it helps you to uh, have an idea what your lights are doing and all that stuff. And yeah, this is all the settings you can control for Mantra. Uh, you can change uh, the pixel sample by default is pretty high like it's uh, 128 that's gonna take a while to clear or to render but uh, if you're gonna do something really quick and you don't want your render to be uh, rendering forever uh, keep these are mostly at eight or four while, while you're working and then uh, when you want something uh, higher resolution you can 
kick this up uh, more. Uh, so this brings me to the other question. So what if I want to actually render images out of, of Houdini with Karma, right? Well, you can do that actually. Uh, that's why I have a camera here. So the camera, there is a Karma node here. You can see Karma node, you can just plug it. And then Karma is just it's gonna say what camera you wanna render, the resolution you wanna render, uh, all this stuff, same thing as, as always. And then you set the path here. And then there is the, uh, the rendering variables here. Mo mostly all the, the settings we saw on the viewport plus other things. Uh, I would just make the pixel samples, let's say four for now. So like we can, I mean, just maybe two. So you can render something really quickly to drive to the disk. And then you can just go uh, do that. And then you can click uh, over here and change this output picture to something like all one of these three values, let's say EXR, something that you might want to use. It's at the current frame right now. So you can just say uh, save the disk and it's going to start. If you go to the render scheduler, you can see the progress here. It's rendering right now and it would just take a few uh, seconds. I think it's not going to take too much in this uh, for this render. It's, it has low samples and I will see you when it's done. All right. So after a few seconds here, that took 34 seconds because it's really low. You can see we have our render and yeah, it's pretty low res. I didn't enable uh, the, the noise scene, but you can enable the noise scene for the uh, output as well. You can see here uh, images. Uh, where is output here? This is the noise here. You can enable that and you can denoise it as well and have you render the noise. So there you go. That's how you can use the mantra and the, the karma render. Go ahead, use it, uh, make cool stuff with it and enjoy Houdini 18. Alrighty. I will see you in the next uh, video. Bye-bye.